Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I hope you stay. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Welcome, my name is Kelly and on this channel I love to do videos about fragrances. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell down below so that you never miss any of my uploads. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here once again. And for today's video, we are going to be talking about fall body mist so the best fall body mist in my collection what i think are the best fall body mist from bath and body works that i have in my collection and the ones that i will be using and looking forward to using this fall so you guys already know i am a gourmand lover and if you're new here then i am a gourmand lover i love notes that are edible i like vanillas coffees caramels pistachios almond all those type of notes chocolate i love those notes in my fragrances i also do love more sultry scents so like patchouli with some fruit or some woods i like scents like that so we are going to be seeing a lot of body mist with those type of scents to me fall is honestly a vibe fall is my favorite season that is the season that i feel my happiest at throughout the year i'm looking forward to fall i just love the vibes the weather i love everything about the fall season halloween everything like that thanksgiving all of that the pumpkin spice the gourmand perfumes body mist body care coming out i love everything about fall the best body mist for fall in my opinion we are going to start with one of my favorites this is pear creme brulee and this one is so good it is strong you don't need a lot even though it's a body mist i used it a lot last fall but now that i have the body lotion to go with it i'm going to be using it even more this fall and plus now i have a perfume that pairs really well with this one so i'm going to be using this one a lot this is like the perfect pear scent in my opinion it is like a baked pear scent so good it smells like a pear pie it is delicious syrupy a lot of pear baked goodness it smells so so good definitely a top staple for this fall season the next one is from that same collection and it is coconut cream pie it is so good i'm also really happy that i found the body lotion to this one in one of the last times that i went to bath and body works so i'm going to be using it to pair with this and if i get lucky i'll find a shower gel one of the times that i go to the outlet but this is just so good this is like the perfect gourmand coconut scent it smells like a coconut cream pie but with like caramel and like really baked and gooey it smells really really good i love it and it's definitely going to be a staple for this fall season and it is amazing for layering like this one is really really good if you like gourmand scents if you like coconut if you like pie or baked coconut toasted coconut vibes with some caramel like that type of vibe you will love this one this is going to be a top one for fall the next one is from the same collection as well and this one is peach prosecco macaron and this one smells so good as well but you do have to like peach scents i know that there's a lot of people that don't really like peach scents like that but this one to me is really really good it smells kind of like peach rings, but a little gourmand. So I would say, honestly, like peach ice cream. Like that's what I get from this one. It's really, really good. And it's going to be amazing for the fall weather when you want something that's a little bit fruity, but still gourmand. A little bit in the fall vibe, the dessert vibe. I love this one too. Next up, we have wicked vanilla woods and this is a staple for me all year round but this is really good for the fall and winter this is an amazing layering scent 
it reminds me of Donna Borden Roma and that's usually what I use it for. I use it to layer with Donna Borden Roma or any fragrances that have a like vanilla or pink pepper vanilla type of base. I usually also layer it with the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper from Kiali. It smells really good with that. It smells really good with a couple of the Kiali fragrances actually and with Donna Borden Roma and with other fragrances that have like a vanilla base or like vanilla warm spicy type of base this is really really good but it's also good on its own it smells like a perfume honestly it smells like something like a body mist the body mist version to um donna board and roma that's how i see this one it's really good it's pretty strong it lasts a good amount of time and if you have like the shower gel and cream for this one that you can layer it you're not gonna need another perfume unless you're a person like me that likes to have loud scents on then yeah you can layer a fragrance with it but if not you can wear it on its own and it's just as good it is a perfumey vanilla kind of spicy and really nice so yeah this is going to be a staple this fall season for me and the packaging is just super duper cute one of my favorites so i really love this one a lot the next one is new to my collection but i honestly can't wait to start using it um this one is vampire blood and i recently got this one as well so this is a more fruity fall scent and i think i wanted to put in this video more because of the packaging it's like a halloweeny one it doesn't really remind me of fall the scent it doesn't remind me of fall per se this one has notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. So yeah, it is like a fruity, nice scent. It's really nice. And I can't wait to use it this fall. Then we have one that is also newer in my collection. It is Chasing Fireflies. And I love this scent. This is more of your floral fall scent. Like you're more going out, sophisticated, feminine floral type of scent it is not gourmand or anything like that it is just sexy floral a little bit woody it is really nice a lot of people compare this with one of the libres um i don't know if it's the intense or which one it is but a lot of people say it smells similar to that i do love the ysl libre intense i do have it to me they have similarities but they'll smell exactly the same but layered together they are so good i tried the combo and it is really really good and this one also layers really well with that on board aroma and it also layers well with any um dupes like the baccarat rouge 540 dupes or that have that dna this one layers well with that one as well this is just super super nice so i can't wait to use it on my days and nights out this fall season the next one is a staple as well i think this is my second bottle this is wrapped in vanilla i don't need to say much about this if you are already into bath mighty works because if you are you have probably heard of this one this one had a lot of hype around it last year and it is just so good it is so good it is the perfect layer in vanilla it smells kind of like a vanilla cake pop or like a vanilla bean cake something like that it smells really nice and it is great for layering i don't need to say much about this but this is a great vanilla body mist to have to layer with all of your perfumes you want to add a little bit of sweetness to it or a little bit of vanilla to it then throw this in the mix this is wrapped in vanilla the next one is also one of my favorites this one is whipped rose and vanilla i have like two or three of these bottles in my collection because i had to get back up because it is that good to me this smells like rose vanilla and chocolate so it is super super good it smells really nice on the skin you could wear it all year round but i like to wear it the most in like colder weather or more chilly weather so this is going to be one of my staples this fall and winter too it smells really good if you like rose but like jammy rose scents not like powdery rose not like vintage rose like a nice dewy rose nice sweet rose 
with vanilla and a little bit of chocolate then you will love this one and this one is whipped rose and vanilla the next one is vanilla mocha martini it just smells like a mocha coffee like a mocha latte it smells really good it is going to layer really well with coffee fragrances with caramel fragrances with chocolate fragrances amazing for layering it smells really good too like you need to try it if you haven't and especially if you're a person that you like coffee caramel chocolate or vanilla type of scents this could be really good to layer with it and create a brand new scent bubble it is so good i like it i actually am gonna spray it on because i have a coffee um perfume on today so it's gonna go really well with it it smells really nice it smells just like a mocha latte heavy on like the milk and the mocha and a little bit of coffee but i like it it smells really good the next one i love for going to bed or chilling at home during like the more cooler weather this one is sunrise woods as you can see i use it a lot because i really like it it's a really cozy and comforting scent for me it has sandalwood sweet berries and cozy cashmere and i love sandalwood scents and i love cashmere and fragrances as well so i really love this one it is just cozy comforting it smells good it smells smooth i love this one and i'm going to be using it all fall long while i'm home when i take a shower and i'm just going to be lunching at home or going into bed to watch movies whatever it is i'm going to be using this and i over spray it because it's just so good it is a really nice comforting perfect scent for like the cool weather so yeah this one is sunrise woods the next one is beach nights and i use this one all year round but i had to include it in here because to me it also makes a great fall scent since it reminds me of like the beach and doing like a fire in the beach and doing s'mores and things like that in a fire in the beach. I love it so, so much. It's like a salty, chocolatey scent. It is, I always say it smells like a toasted, warm s'more like next to the salty beach so you smell the salt you smell the marshmallow the everything the chocolate is so good like this is really really good and i hope i find some body washes and creams and stuff of this one because this one is like one of my favorites hands down it is just too too good and i like to use it all year round but I'm going to use it a lot this fall season. And I'm also going to layer it with more marshmallow and chocolate scents. The next one is Sunset Glow. This is also a year-round fragrance for me. This is a really nice cherry scent. It is like a caramelized cherry type of scent. It is really good. It does give me fall vibes because of the caramelized aspect. So it's like a gourmand cherry scent. It is really nice and really comforting as well. And it smells really good. And this is one of my more long lasting body mist personally. And I love it so much. So I'm definitely going to be using it this fall. And if you haven't given this one a try during the fall, definitely try it. And you can even layer it with other cherry fragrances or even like coconut or caramel type of scents try it like it is so so good the next one is my favorite body mist from Bath and body works all around it is fairy tale i love this one all year round as well but i feel like it is perfect for the fall season this is more of a woodsy type of scent it smells very similar to the libre line i always layer it with the libre intense it is super long lasting it is my favorite body mist from Matthew body works i think i have three of these in my collection and like three body creams and i've went through like three shower gels already of this this has notes of amber pomegranate nectar and orange blossom oh and also vanilla bean it is really nice i know you either love it or hate it but if you haven't tried it and you like the libre line definitely give this a try it is so so good um this one is like, I know that we're going to discontinue it or something like that. 
um so if you find it definitely grab it that means you got lucky because this is so so good like this is my favorite one out of all of my body mint hands down the next one is dahlia this is another one that is discontinued it is really really good people compare it to good girl by carolina herrera this is a woodsy praline type of scent it is super nice slightly floral creamy so good and very woodsy or woody and kind of woody it is really really nice and i'm definitely going to be using this one all fall and winter long i really love this one we also have starlit night starlit night is one of my favorites this one is like a sexy berry type of scent it reminds me of ysl mamperi i love this one and i love mamperi I'm already done with that one. I need to buy me a new one because I love that scent. If you like YSL Montpellier, then you will love this one. This is like one of those sexy, dark, berry type of scents. It is really nice and it is very long lasting. It smells like perfume. Like it smells like a perfume instead of a body mist. And it also has a good longevity it has good longevity and projection all of that it is really really nice we're almost done you guys the next one is heart of gold gingham heart of gold and this is really nice this is a nice golden apple scent with vanilla it is really really nice it is like a sandalwood vanilla type of scent with that golden apple it smells really nice it reminds me of the fall season a lot you definitely need to try it if you have not this one is also discontinued i believe so if you find it snatch it up use it in the fall and winter because that is the time that this smells the best in my opinion the next one is mad about chew i love this one this one is very nostalgic to me this is like a vanilla floral musky type of scent it smells really good it's a distinct scent is a distinct scent that I can't explain well, but just trust me and trust me that it smells really, really good. You'll find it in the store, smell it for yourself. It usually comes in different packaging. I remember I used to have a different packaging of this um, with like black lines and like a flower in the front, but it is really, really nice. This is one of those um, body mists that smells like perfume, like an expensive perfume. And I definitely feel like it's more for like the fall for me. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the fall time a lot. So I'm going to be using this one a lot this fall. And then lastly, we have pumpkin cupcake. I like this one for layering. If you have like a pumpkin routine that you're doing, like let's say like a pumpkin body butter with like a coffee shower gel or something like that, you can layer it with this and it smells really good layered. I don't like to use it on its own. But layered is really nice if you layer it with like coffee scents or vanilla scents or pumpkin scents, milky scents. is really good for layering on its own. I don't like it that much, but layered, I really do like it. It does smell like a pumpkin cupcake. It smells creamy. It smells really nice. It smells just like the fall season. All right, you guys. So those are all of my fall picks as far as body mist for my collection. Let me know if you have any of these in your collection. Which ones are your favorites? Which are your fall picks or your fall top three from your body mist collection? I know that a lot of you have a lot of body mist as well. So let me know what are your top three body mists for the fall down below. Let me know if you're going to go out and try to find any of these that you don't have. Let me know. Let me know. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.